get ready for the dictation on the count of 3 2 1 start mr deputy chairman i am happy to be able to speak in this house once again i do so for the first time on this side of the house and that makes me double happy i welcome the friendly and conciliatory tone of the honorable finance minister's speech i think the tone and approach has changed over the last 3 or 4 weeks and that augurs well for this bill although it will depend upon the outcome of this debate and the assurances that the government is able to give on many issues which he himself hinted are still outstanding issues and in need to be resolved if i may say in the lighter vein between 2011 to 14 i did virtually what was called traveling between my prime minister the leader of the opposition in the lok sabha the leader of the opposition in the rajya sabha and the empowered council of state finance ministers we tried to pass the gst bill with the support of the principal opposition party and we failed in the last 18 months the government tried to pass it without the support of the principal opposition party and i am glad that you have also failed today if we pass the bill which i hope you will after we listen to your speech it will be on the basis of serious discussions serious negotiations and serious debate it is far too important legislation to be passed on a partisan basis in fact i commented once i hope the finance minister will pass the bill not on the strength of numbers but on the strength of his arguments sir i am glad that the finance minister has acknowledged that it was the upa government which first officially announced the government's intention to bring about the gst on the 28th february 2005 it was announced in the lok sabha in the course of the budget speech i quote in the medium to long term it is my goal that the entire production and distribution chain should be covered by a national vat or even better a goods and services tax encompassing both the center and the states it has of course taken us 11 years to arrive at this point but i think the journey has been a learning experience for everyone in the house and outside sir let me make it very clear that the congress party was never opposed to the idea of a gst in fact i believe about an hour ago the finance minister said so much in an interview to a television channel and i thank him for making that acknowledgement we were never opposed to the idea of a gst we are not discussing or debating the idea of a gst that debate has gone on in this country for several years and i think the country is now ready to embrace the idea of a gst just as the earlier gst bill introduced by the finance minister was opposed by several parties including the bjp the 2014 bill is also being opposed the idea was not opposed the bill was opposed because we felt that it was possible to have a more perfect bill and i choose my words carefully 
then there can be no such thing as a perfect bill and in a legislation as transformative and as revolutionary as the goods and services tax bill i don't think anyone from the government side will claim that this is a perfect bill it can never be a perfect bill but when we found that there were too many flaws in the bill and many of those flaws could be fixed by addressing them seriously we decided that we could support the bill i am happy that in the last few weeks there has been a serious engagement by the government with the opposition parties including my party and i am glad that considerable progress has been made sir there are four major issues i will touch briefly upon the first three issues because it is the last issue that concerns me the most and i want to take my time dealing with that at some length the first one is this i wish to point out to the honorable finance minister that there are still pieces of clumsy drafting in this bill for example in the present list of amendments circulated you have made some provisions for what will go into the consolidated fund of india and what will not go into the consolidated fund of india this problem should have been noticed much earlier it should have come in the draft bill but it has come today in the form of an amendment and why i will not take too much time explaining what i have in mind if the honorable finance minister reads it more carefully he will find pieces of clumsy drafting